Hey guys, it's Ben, and welcome back to another episode, another episode, episode 72 of your bucket blocking tutorials. It's been like a week or so, I've been ill and such, which is why there's been a gap. But um, yeah, so now it's episode 72, we're doing more on Bungie. Uh, so this time we're going to be doing sort of like cross-server cross server messaging and stuff, so how to send messages to people on other servers. So, uh, obviously you've got your things, make sure it implements listener. And or it doesn't have to actually no. Doesn't, this one doesn't need to implement this for my example. Um, but make sure in your enable that you register the outgoing plugin channel for this for your plugin as being Bungie called. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make an on command method. So we're gonna make sort of like a, a cross server messaging system. Uh, so obviously we're gonna do the normal checks. So like if sender is an instance instance of player so if uh, the sender is a player then we're going to continue obviously so then we can cast player to sender so player or sender to player so player player equals player sender okay, okay like so so what we want to do is we want to get say the command is like um, we'll do the command as slash slash cross or cross server so cs uh, and then the player's name, and then the message, like so. So that's what our command's going to be. Um, and so first of all, we want to check if there's more than there has to be at least three arguments. So if args dot length is less than three, then we want to send player message. So player dot send message, chat color dot red, and we're going to say um, we are going to say just what they have to do. So slash CS and then the player and the message like so and then return false because they did it wrong so it's going to return out of this method so now what we're going to do is we're going to just send the message so to in order to do this we have to get the message that they've they've put in so string message equals nothing for now uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a for loop and it's going to be just int i equals equals um, one because we're starting to get the, uh, the the second argument which is going to be one because if we type args zero that gets the first argument so we want to start the second argument which is going to be the message and i is less than args dot length i plus plus so now what we're going to do is message plus equals args i plus a space like so so that's going to get the message that they put in for us and we also want to get the player so string player to send equals args zero like so so now we get into the bungee cordy bit so we're going to make a, a try and a catch catch exception e uh, and then e dot print stack trace so now what we want to do is like we did in the other one to to um to send oh god I can't talk that what we did in the other one to, to send the player to the other server we used the uh, the array um sort of stuff so we'd we'd uh, get then we write UTF out into the uh, server and that would send the player to the server we're gonna do the same here so in order to do that we have to make a like we did before a byte array output stream. I'm just going to be and this can be equal to a new byte array output stream. And then we're going to make a data output stream and call this out. And this is going to be equal to a new data output stream with the arguments b for our output stream. So now we're going to say out dot write utf like we did in the previous one. So write utf and this time we're going to type message. So we're telling Bungie that we're we're writing a message, like so. And the next UTF out that we need to write is the name of the player that we're sending the message to. So we're writing out the player's name. So player to send. And then we're writing out the message. So I out dot write UTF as um, whatever the message was. So message in this case. And then finally, so down here, we're going to say the player that has done this, so player dot send plugin message uh, for the, this plugin, 
and the string is going to be uh, B or no <laughs> a bungee cord because that's the outgoing plugin channel that we're using and the plugin message what we're writing is we're writing our um, output stream so B as actually we need these to go inside of the tray or no we don't we need to go outside the tray and we need these to go outside of the uh, the try bit as well and this doesn't actually need to write that because this will never throw an exception because all we're doing is writing to a output stream uh, and then we're going to write b.2 by array and that's going to send our plugin the message or send the player that we've we've put the message saying so all right so now this is done i guess we go into our plugin.yml and change this to uh, CS, like so. So I'll export this and I'll see you in the game. All right, so two accounts on here, on the server, so if I just sort of change servers on this account. Okay, so I'm on server one on this one, and server two on this one, they're both connected to Bungie Cord. Uh, so if I type and stuff, you see that they're in separate servers. Now if I do slash CS, bench cubed, oh god, <laughs> bench cubed, hello Ben, I'm going to get a message on the other server saying hello Ben, and then if I do the same on here, so CS, uh, what account is on here, uh, the BC Bros, hey Ben, <laughs> over here I'm going to get hey Ben, like so, and so that is how we do stuff and we send messages to players on separate servers. So thanks for watching guys. If you uh, want some more advice on bungee cord stuff, just put it in the comments below. As always, if you have any suggestions, tutorials, tutorials, post them again in the comments below. I am going to be doing kind of like a mini game series in the future, <laughs> not like soon. So don't don't, you know, sit around refreshing your feed. There will soon be an how to make a mini game series. So look forward to that. Uh, again, if you have any issues, go to thebcbrosbucket.com and or either email me at you know ben at the bcbrosbucket.com or go to the bcbrosbucket.com and i'll try and sign an issue out there thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time